Welcome. Good morning, good evening, and good afternoon. We are getting ready to play through Hogwarts Legacy, and... This will be fun. So we'll just wait for some people to come in and join us, and we're just going to be starting right from the beginning. And we'll go all the way through, and hopefully this will last us the whole month up until we, uh hit the release of Starfield. Now I will tell you, I'm not a big Harry Potter person. I don't know a lot of the lore and stuff like that, so if I say things that are wrong and all that sort of stuff, uh, uh, just forgive me. I, uh, the, the, this is a game. It's all it is. It's a game. And, and, I, and I don't know. It depends on how many people we have in here. If we get enough We'll let it go and decide. If not, I'll just go with the uh, little quiz thing. That the in-game has you do. Okay. Go ahead and hit F and start this up. Oh, what character do we want? Should we go a boy or a girl? I shall roll the dice of doom. We're gonna let the dice decide. Void, pick a uh, high or low. Decide what we got. Righty, we're going with a girl. Let's see what we have here. Character creation is always something that gets me. I will go with her as a basis. Yeah, we'll 
guy with glasses. We must find the most ridiculous hair. One that makes you. Yeah, the character creation isn't as good as I would have liked it to be. We need to have hair that makes you, like, know that she's questioning life decisions. Just go with long. Go with proper ginger. All characters must be gingers. do have like a proper hazel just go with gray that works for me and we're just doing story because I want to just get through as quick as co quick as possible. Oh. What shall her name be? side eye that that's definitely a person who has some serious issues
I I've got a uh, interesting name. The one thing I know when it comes to Harry Potter is the character lores. So this here will be a nice little uh, random reference. To anybody who's in the know. It appears we are almost ready to depart. It's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Well, I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly to a second-hand wand. You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. Thank you, Professor Fig. I appreciate you working with me before the time begins. Oh! <laughs> Eleazar! George, glad my rather cryptic description of our location did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some theater goers in the West End. <laughs> it's been much too long. When I received your owl, I must uh, say I... Best not speak here, Eleazar. Hmm? Of course. Why don't we speak en route to Hogwarts? We have a start of term feast and a oh, sorting uh, ceremony to get to. One bit of a idea. character reference charge, right there with the name. Tagging along? Not at all, sir. After you. It's like I don't know a lot about Harry Potter, but I do know about character backgrounds. Good to see the old pile of rocks. Harry Potter! Dobby's got a Glock! <laughs> Dobby's gonna put a cap in your ass! Traveling companion. A new student. New? Yes, sir. I'm starting school as a fifth year. How extraordinary. It is indeed. None of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to Hogwarts so late. Nor have I. Of course, as the other fifth years will have been honing their Smashing. magical skills for four <laughs> years now, the headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins. Well, you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the Ministry. <laughs> have you seen this? I have. Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ranrock really is. Although I've yet to convince my colleagues at the Ministry, I believe he is a significant threat. And it was your wife, Eleazar, who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? <sighs> she wrote to me about Ranrock before she died, wondering what the Ministry knew about his activities. Before I could respond, I received this. It was the last thing she sent me, Eleazar. It came to me via her owl, but with no correspondence. I can only assume that she had to get rid of it quickly. 
to keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. I cannot open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. It looks like goblin metal. That symbol. What's the glow? I don't see a glow. Nor do I. Oh god, she's already seeing things. Merlin's beard. How did you wait? We did <laughs> Why well, redheads aren't allowed to have nice things. That's why I'm not allowed to touch things at home. Random dragon attacks. Potion. That stuff will write you in a second. Let's see if I remember how to play. What happened? Poor George. I can't believe he. What the hell got into that damn yeah. thing? Attacking a carriage midair? A typical dragon would never. Professor? It's because we're goddamn redhead. Sir. This is like wrong? average look, you know, um, sure. average stuff but for us. But that key you discovered was clearly a port key. Port key? An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. I'm feeling better, sir. If you'd like to look around a bit. I would. But stay close. We've no idea who created this port key. Or why? Dobby created it. It's where Dobby keeps his locks. The locks to the glocks. I have to say, this game does look amazing. Traveled. We're somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. Sir, those ruins. Do you think. The port key was meant to lead us there. I do. This has not been the day either of us expected. But Miriam sent that port key to George for a reason. And I believe that she, and now George, died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. If you're sure you're all right and wouldn't mind indulging me. I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Let's see if we can find a path, however faded it may be. Now we gotta break everything. Mind your step. Hi, little bars. Where do you suppose your wife got the port key that brought us here? A good question. 
Miriam spent years searching for evidence of a long forgotten form of ancient magic. I find the story alright. It's just one of those where it, it could have been a lot more. Yes, a powerful magic wielded by a rare few that seems to have been lost to time. Oh yes, Twit. Hogwarts Castle Making a was little psychopath. and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. I don't know where she came into possession of the port key, but I am certain it was to do with that search. Ah, there's the path down below. This way. Come on, I'm already ahead of you, old but man. But sir, why was your wife searching for evidence of lost magic? Miriam wanted to understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world. Spoke of the good it could do. But magic is no different than any power. What really matters is the one who wields it. Is that ice? It's not cold enough here. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Someone wanted to block this path. Let's see some of that wand work you were practicing. Focus on the center. Woo! Breaking stuff. Excellent! than I'd expected. Your one was improving with every cast. Thank you, sir. You want to know how I got these scars? You see, my dad was an alcoholic. It's a scene from the trailers. Oh no. And then they all died. Should be another chest down. Two of these. Crazy with it's just story mode. Not like we're really gonna really need Almost any there. crazy, crazy stuff. Privacy. That 
Porky led us here for a reason. Let's have a look around for anything that seems out of place. <laughs> This may have been yeah, his home. Anybody fancy going for a swim? stone again but what could it be blocking now I know the game's been out for a while like I've finished the story I know Twit's finished the story etc but what's this just in case anybody hasn't don't spoil anything have conjured that enchanted stone here and how is there a room behind it what room i don't see anything there's that glow again like the glow on the port key container what in merlin's name godric's heart where are we i don't believe it We're at the bank. This is your typical redhead experience. I wake up every Tuesday and get teleported to the bank. How you doing, Queen? It can't be. Uh, just a moment. <laughs> Visiting bank. Vault number 12, I presume. <clears throat> Precisely. The key? Mm -hmm. Your wife's port key. Oh, yes, of course. Sorry, our friend's old. This forgetful. way, then. Very forgetful. <laughs> Stay close. Martian. <laughs> How many vaults are there in Green Dots? Hundreds. In fact, you'll see quite a few on our way to vault number 12. As we speak, we're just beneath the main lobby. The vaults you see now are the newest. Are private entrances to the bank common at Green Dots? They are most uncommon. Only one with great wealth or power, or both, could have arranged for such a service. 
take a breath. A what? That waterfall washes away all enchantments. It's a security measure. Experienced the thief's downfall before, have you? Heard of it? These are the lower vaults that we're passing now. How deep are we going? Vault number 12 was commissioned shortly after Gringotts was founded over four centuries ago. It resides in the deepest part of the bank. Settle in. We've quite a distance to go. Vault number... Vault 12. Momentous day! <laughs> hmm. On your way. Yeah, what was that? We were just wondering about that goblin back there. He watches over the oldest section of the bank. Rare anyone goes there anymore. Because it's a dreadful place. Here we are. Last time this vault was accessed. A goblin has been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. In that time, no one has visited Vault 12 until today. And no wonder. for your help. Hello, very tiny person. Goodbye, tiny person. Please what don't do close the door behind us. For? I'm not sure. Sir, I wonder if you might... The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Wait! Best of luck. <sighs> Professor? That was certainly unexpected. Let me think. There must be something here. Hmm. Revelio, perhaps. Revelio? Yes, a revealing charm. No time like the present. Let's see what we're missing, shall we? Ready your wand and focus. and try again. Oh my. Well, that's a start. There's that symbol again. I don't suppose you see a way to... I do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw in the portkey container. If what you can see reveals the way forward, then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of this vault. Lead the way. Maybe I don't want to.
Lumos. This is no ordinary vault. I suspect we will need to earn our way out of here. What do you mean, earn our way out? Do you think this is some sort of test? I do. But to what end, I can't say. Stay close. There will be no disapparating if things go poorly. Not out of Gringotts. It's dark in here. I don't like the dark. I see something up ahead. What is it? That glow again, but on the floor. the glow it suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about are you all right yes sir i'm fine you seem to have caused the floor to change that statue what statue i see some sort of statue but only as a reflection in the floor Yeah, she's seeing stuff. Revenia. I presume this is what you saw reflected in the floor. It is. The reflection's still there, but the statue's positions don't match. Wait. When you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm. Perhaps you should cast Lumos. Okay, oh here we go again. Performing under pressure, oh god. I think it was both of the original Deathly Hollow games that were just basically Call of Duty with little glow sticks. Professor? Professor Fig? Professor, where are you? This isn't good. Where am I supposed to go? What's happening? The wisps of magic seem to be leading me somewhere. Rebellion. Don't need lights where we're going. Alright, hmm, you've got three of them, man, if I remember right. Rebellion. I suppose I'm on my own this time. It is. 
Lumos. It seems I have no choice. I'm going to have to fight my way out. It's almost as dark as your soul there, Switch. I mean, Queen. I thought it was Twit. Now it's dark again. It's like Venom. Batman. Without Lumos. the bats. Rebellion. I swear there's more chests down here. Lumos. Oh well. Rebellion. Did the thing. We did the thing. did you? What is this place? I don't know. But I found this floating above that basin. That is no mere basin. That is a pensive for viewing memories. I wonder... your face in it. Abracadabra. <laughs> to follow. It will only be impossible for one who cannot see traces of ancient magic as I can. Your ability to see what others cannot will not be enough, Percival. 
We are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to obtain. Yes, and if we are correct, Charles, the witch or wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that accompanies it. We've done all that we can. That's what you're seeing. The glow that surrounded them. Yes, sir. Astonishing. Can I see magic? Traces of an ancient magic, to be precise. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed, but could never. Miriam, and perhaps George, died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. And you, it seems, are the key to understanding why. We were... It all looks rather different than it did a moment ago. <laughs> Someone's coming. Who were they? I don't know. But, sir, you shouldn't be in there. I was right. Ranrock. Seems my reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's Vault. And why are you here? No need for that. Just give me whatever it is you found here and we can let bygones be bygones. <coughs> uh, sir, they have the key to the vault. <laughs> Choose your next words wisely. I... I only meant that the instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you didn't have them. I have no patience for traitors. Now, where were we? I'm not giving you anything. Hmm. Well, perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful. They woke up Clyde. <laughs> Clyde doesn't like being woken up. Those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both wanted someone with your ability to end up here. Come. We have a sorting ceremony to get to. Oh god, we're in the place. It's Disney World. It's Mickey Mouse. Oh, God. 
God, no. Queen already took Space Mountain. Oh yeah, it does the same thing. Makes your hair stand up. Oh good. We haven't missed the sorting ceremony. I'm no <laughs> expert, but that seems more appropriate. Now, I need to study this locket as soon as I can, but first I must contact the ministry. They need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock. For the moment. I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. Thank you. Ready for the sorting ceremony? Yourself to meet the headmaster. Fig, nice of you to join us. The sorting ceremony is over. There were complications. Complications? It seems the goblin Enough. problem has. Goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig, and I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. If you're lucky, we might still be able to get you sorted this evening. <clears throat> I'll be in touch. Professor Weasley, we've one more to be sorted. Welcome. You're just in time. Have a seat. Ah, yes. A bit older than the others, aren't you? You come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain expectations. Can't wait to explore. I'm looking forward to exploring Hogwarts and the world beyond the castle and grounds. Mm. Indeed. Much can be gleaned by having an adventurous spirit. But your professors have a great deal to teach you as well. Mm. I wonder... Mm, I detect something in you. A certain sense of... Mm, what is it? Alrighty, it's time to make our character's personality. Is it ambition? I may seem single-minded, but it is important to go after what you want from life. Hmm, interesting. You've recently learned that you possess a rare ability. I detect a growing sense of ambition, an eagerness for power. Perhaps you belong in Slytherin. I like it's like one question, then boom! Oh, you're you're instantly a uh, you know Slytherin. Let's see how many people we got. Uh, put in chat what uh, house and whatever one gets the most.
One for Hufflepuff. Two for Hufflepuff. Everybody likes Hufflepuff, I don't know why. Okay, we, well we got three votes for Hufflepuff. A friend delayed your arrival here this evening. Yeah, so we're going Hufflepuff. Look at that. Gonna live like a hobbit. Better be Hufflepuff! And one more thing. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. Enough! It's not as though I've banned flying altogether. But don't tempt me. You are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I said, I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. Quite an entrance. It's lovely to meet you. I'm... Professor Weasley, would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. As I was saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. As Deputy Headmistress, it is my distinct honor to show you to your common room. Right this way. It's quite uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. Might be a bit of work, but I'm sure that's never stopped you before. It hasn't, Professor. Now, here we are at the entrance to the Hufflepuff common room. This is the entrance. Indeed. I will explain what to do, but I hesitate to do it myself, as one errant knock leads to being doused in vinegar. Most unpleasant. You must tap the barrel, two from the bottom, middle of the second row, in the rhythm of Helga Hufflepuff. Well done. Now go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. Was it a hole in the ground? It was a warm, cozy little home. A hobbit hole. Looks like everyone's gone. Better head to the common room. My first playthrough was in uh, Ravenclaw, and I, I still prefer Ravenclaw, but H Hufflepuff is a very nice common room. We are now flying. <laughs> 
Twit be a lurkin. It really is just a hobbit hole. So yeah, Hufflepuff is very earthy. Got a bunch of plants. Again, it's just a hobbit hole. Basically, like it's just ripped straight out of Lord of the Rings. talk to up there. Cat. It's a, it's a cat. We shall now stare at the cats. Platypus. I suppose some introductions are in order. You're just gonna eat that. And I'm just gonna eat this. Gonna drink some tea. And we're gonna eat this. Thank you for not biting me. I'm just gonna eat all your food, mates. Arthur's got you. You don't need it's to be right. frightened, little cat. Okay, come here, kitty cat. Uh, I can't quite reach. Uh, come on, you went that way. Hope they can catch him. Big castle for a student to get lost in, let alone a cat. <laughs> I'm sure you'll find your way, all right? I mean, it can be a bit overwhelming at first. I still get lost sometimes. <laughs> Welcome to Hufflepuff, by the way. Really glad to have you in our house. I'm Arthur. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Was that your cat? No, one of the first years, I think. Don't have any pets of my own, unfortunately. My mother doesn't think too highly of them. Especially magical ones. I'm sorry to hear that. I think magical beasts are rather incredible. Best thing about coming to Hogwarts. Nifflers, Glumbumbles, Bowtruckles. I thought they were only pictures in books before. Well, Dad did bring home a puff skein once. Mum was furious. <laughs> Breathe through anyway, your nose, mate. I better go make sure the first years caught that cat. Don't want them to be late on their first day. Nice meeting you, Arthur. And good luck finding that cat. Thank you. Try not to get lost in the castle yourself. Oh, Uncle, this doesn't sound like you. Something's wrong. Oh, hello there. You're the new Hufflepuff, yes? I'm Adelaide. Pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Is everything all right? Oh, yes. I'm just a bit distracted. Letter from my uncle. So tell me, I've been hearing all sorts of rumors. Were you really nearly gobbled up by a dragon? That one is true. Not the typical start to a new school. That's dreadful. Well, I'm glad you made it here alive. Well, anyway, I imagine you have lots to do. I hope you have a wonderful first day. 
Are you sure everything is all right with your uncle? Oh, yes. He travels for work, always busy. I'm sure he just wrote it in a rush. Um, nothing to worry about. Thank you, Adelaide. Be seeing you. Of course. And good luck. I just know we're finally going to win the Quidditch Cup this year. Oh, I don't like how flying messes up my hair. It's time to trade in my Oak Sharp 79 for a new one. Thank you for not biting me. I want the owl. Oh, She's awfully regal, isn't she? Is that your owl? I don't know who she is. Likely one of the Hufflepuffs around here. Owls choose their own company anyway. Wait, you're the new fifth year. Quite the dramatic entrance you made. Can't imagine wanting to call attention to yourself. Especially since everyone will be watching to see how much you already know. I'm really not worried. I'm sure I'll be fine. Nevertheless, it is rather unusual. You must feel terribly... out of place. Of course, presumably, as a hard-working Hufflepuff, you'll prove yourself in no time. I'm hard-working too, as you might suspect. But sometimes I think I should have been a Ravenclaw. I've rather a searing wit. <laughs> At least people have always told me so. I'm Lenora, by the way. Lenore Everly. Well, mustn't keep you. You've such a lot to do. It was nice meeting you, Lenora. Of course. Adieu. Is the new Hufflepuff out of bed yet? Well, no. Professor Weasley's waiting for them outside the common room. How you doing, do? I'm not easily distracted. I don't know what you all say. Hey, hey, they all voted. I, I'm, I'm not distracted at all. I'm really not distracted at all. I don't know what you're all talking about. Okay. Anybody else to talk to in here? Might be one of my missing achievements. I'm dreading taking my own Oh, we're just gonna eat that. I'd rather jinx myself than have to explain reasons for the acceptance of Grouch Law. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. But don't well, leave you us. Are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Here you are.
What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. This way. The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding lore. Hi. Delicious pie. I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Using the guide will also train you to be alert to your surroundings. Do keep up! Oh, an apple. Simply cast Revelio on it, and we'll see what the guide says. Maybe I don't want to. I don't want to cast it. You cast it. Ooh. Revelio. God, it makes us open the book. Clever, isn't it? Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that, inside and outside of the castle. There's always opportunity for food. Ah, good timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use blue flames to get around a bit quicker. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. Maybe I don't want to. Maybe I want to go to the, uh, I want to go to the tower. And here we are. Quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive. Our King's Cross Station, so to speak. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use right. of Revelio See you later, earlier, Panda. I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. 
He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. I'm sorry, Professor, but I'm afraid that's all there is to it. Hmm. Almost precisely what Professor Fig said. Speak of the devil? Professor Fig, your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Good luck today. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And invaluable to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. Alrighty, I think this is a nice, actual good place to stop. At least I don't have a lot of time today. Let's see. So we'll come back tomorrow and we will finish this all up. So everything should be quite alright. I'd like to thank everybody who came by and uh, showed up, and if you want to see more of this, remember to give us a like and subscribe on YouTube, and over here on Twitch, just give us a follow, and you won't miss any updates that we have, or any uh, new content. So we'll be seeing you all later, you alligators. Bye-bye now. Now we're going to go over and bother Twit. Um, can't bother Twit. Go and bother somebody. Looks like Smur is still playing Yakuza. He's on Like a Dragon right now, so let's go and uh, torment him.